All right, everybody. So uh, this is going to be a query, Sun, Moon, and as well a rising. Um, weekly tarot reading February 10th to February 16th, uh, 2020. And that is going to be career and uh, business tarot reading for you guys. And in case you are interested into a uh, getting in touch with me for a personal one, uh, you can check out the description down below of this video. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website and as well a link to your uh, relationship, love and relationship, general tarot reading for that very same week. So uh, that being said, moving to the uh, spread directly, this is going to be a, a six card uh, tarot spread. And the first card, which stands as a topic of your business and career we do have the Eight of Pentacles here, accompanied by the energies that are to help or kind of support the topic. That will be the Five of Wands. Furthermore, we do face the challenges of this uh, of this week for you in terms of business and career. That will be the Queen of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy. Uh, throughout this week that is to be the tree of uh, pentacles followed by the next one here is how you're gonna stand in front of others what kind of impression you're gonna leave there uh, among your co-workers among your boss among your supervisor that is to be the nine of cups and the last one it is uh, the guidance the tarot is offering here. We do have the star card, a, a fantastic week for you Aquarius in term of a business and career. So uh, first couple of cards here, guys, we do have eight of pentacles and the five of uh, the five of wands. There are a lot of stuff that you will have to do throughout this week in your job and in your business. Now those stuff, as we can see with the five of wands, which is the energy, the very core of what is feeding here the topic, they are to differentiate significantly from the established code of conduit in terms of how the business is taking care of tasks and is taking care of responsibilities. That being said, you can expect a lot, a lot of dynamics in there that one thing comes around, another replaces it. Uh, also the five of wands, it is that card pointing that nothing is certain. What I mean is that pro uh, projects, for example, which does not look like that they're gonna reap very big benefits are to reap very big benefits or it's possible to reap very big benefits. Uh, projects that are going down to shade are to be revived once again. So you can expect that everything can turn around itself or experience around turn here and traverse or transform, excuse me, its status from a positive to negative or from a negative to positive or from negative to worse or from a positive to exceptional, okay? And all that, it is based on your personal performance here because like said you are going to have a lot to do with the eights of pentacles so these energies are to um, demand from you to attend to every responsibility that it is coming to you every task that is given to you by your business or by your supervisor or by your boss with a extraordinary amount of conscientiousness you need to kind of like dive deeper into the um, minor and finer details of um, <clears throat> of the tasks that are lying uh, ahead and uh, show how can I say it your subtle approach into the matters into the job that you are working or into the business that you are for for which you are performing at now this attitude will allow you afterwards moving forward into the future to uh, execute a, a plan or a thing that you hope that you're going to have a chance to do so so it's kind of like you are laying prerequisites to become even more successful into the near future that is to come after this week 10th to 16th of February. So next one, it is the challenge here and we do have a person, Queen of Pentacles. So a uh, Queen of Pentacles, uh, these kind of people, they cannot handle very well a, uh, how can I say it, 
straying away from the established code of conduit. Like we said at the start, the new tasks and the turnarounds, all of these surprises that are uh, appearing into your career field, they will demand from everybody around to kind of like think outside of the box, all right? Now, this person here does not handle that thing very well. I mean, they are kind of like traditionalists. They are orthodox kind of people and they do things exactly the way that they have done them for the entirety of their lives. Now, Queen of Pentacles, it is a well-accomplished person, okay? Don't get me wrong. I mean, they have a lot of things done right. But this time around, uh, only those who does have a... Um, a sense of creativeness are to persevere and are to reap the most benefits out of the projects that are, are lying ahead. So that being said, as a challenge, Queen of Pentacles, it is stifling you to um, unfold your maximum potential. Now that could be your supervisor, okay? That could be your boss, but I don't think that is gonna go that high into the ladder of the hierarchy into your business. I do believe that that Queen of Pentacles, it's someone you're working with and they're trying to convince you not to try out crazy stuff and not to try out something that haven't been assigned by the company or by the business, but rather go the traditional way, which we are seeing here is not gonna give as good results as your creative expression can, um, can achieve. So uh, what are to be the gifts and the blessings here that you are to enjoy for throughout the week? Uh, we do have the Tree of Pentacles and you are going to enjoy the support of everybody around except of the queen of pentacles okay so aside from that person everybody is to be excited of your determination to do something different if you will something crazy uh, also with the tree of pentacles um, it's not like encouragement but it's more like a, a productive feedback that you're gonna face from your co-workers here and there telling you their opinion and how you best can perform into your tasks and into your deeds so you are to you are gifted by followers and a faithful companions moving forward into your uh, into your career field not to mention that this card also points that you are gifted with a support through your development so even if you are facing criticism uh, into your job in regards to how you are performing into your projects this uh, criticism is not going to be a, a negative one what i mean is that it's not going to be like if you do that thing again uh, you consider yourself fired but it's going to be more like okay so you you haven't done it it's because you, you couldn't succeed in it it's because you did this thing wrong uh, and you have to do it the other way around and so you take that criticism under consideration you learn from it and next time you uh, are actually going to persevere so that is a criticism who gives you the answer to the baffling questions you have in in regards to how you can convince the, convince this client to purchase your project uh, uh, product excuse me how you can overcome this plight into the project and so on and so forth therefore you can expect into your career this week to have rather a, a, a sincere conversations, profound conversations, if you will, deeply meaningful ones for, you know, how you can unfold and how, you know, how, how you can grow into your career place. So how other people are going to see you and uh, how your um, co-workers are going to have a look at you, how your um, boss and supervisors are going to take a look at you as well we do have uh, the nine of cups and so they see potential and i mean a very very big potential so what the people see it is that these very uh these very first steps here that we do have okay the uh eight of pentacles and the five of wands where you are kind of like start shining with your creative expression and you are get given a, a card blanche if you will to manage these things on your own 
they are seeing only the very first glimpse of what you truly can become in regards to career and in regards to business and therefore i do believe with this card this is that people especially your boss and your supervisor this is because this is why i don't think that the queen of pentacles it is someone that it is above you in the ladder of the hierarchy so those people your boss and your supervisor are going to uh, have a bigger affinity if you will to give you even more important tasks moving forward into the future so you can uh, transform this short term a uh, short term a, a a success of your creative expression and conscientiousness given into your project into a long lasting one so uh, Aquarius if you do play your cards right guys and you kind of like show yourself or present yourself into the matters at hand uh, in terms of projects, in terms of tasks, in terms of responsibilities as well. I much, how can I say it, it's uh, a much more cost effective for you that is projects are to come about in the future. Cost effective, I mean more important projects that are offering you more money in return so you can expect raising in salary going further into the future promotions probably as well etc etc and so what is the guidance here that you should follow and that is to be the star card so star card first of all tells us that for you Aquarius by the way that is the Aquarius card okay so uh, for you Aquarius the hard times in term of career are over Okay, so they, they are done, at least for now, at least for this week. The turmoil, over. So you have to use this moment of peace and renovation or revival, if you will, to kind of set for yourself a, a long-term goal, like a, like a fulcrum that you are to follow from now on. Uh, but with the star card, it is also very common that you have to keep up high standards and high ideals as well so no cutting corners and that could have been said uh, at the start here of the five of ones and the eight of pentacles people who are performing under the eight of pentacles they attend to even the finest detail or the minest detail I'm sorry guys someone was calling me i don't know why Just let me. Okay. I'm sorry about that. All right. So, um, to the finest detail, and uh, by you doing so, you are gonna be granted a um, how can I say it? A big trust to move on forward because the star card is a about as well fellowship and as a as someone that it is taking you as a uh, how can i say it as an, an example to be followed all right so that is the most important thing here for throughout the week for you to uh attend to the minus and finest detail you have to believe as well that you can transform everything into a success and by it moving forward into the future you set yourself a, a goal and you do follow that goal so that being said uh this was your uh career reading for the week february 10th to february 16 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other a uh, next time don't forget that if you are interested into your love and relationship tarot reading you can find the link down into the description down below into this uh to the other video and also you can find a, a link to my website in case you are interested into a personal reading uh with that being said see you all around and until then bye